let's talk some TV, people. Today I'm going to be reviewing the first season of Amazon's new original series, Hannah, which is based on the 2011 film by Joe Wright that starred Saoirse Ronan, Eric Bana, Kate Blanchett. They've decided to take that movie, turn it into a series for us all to consume and obsess over, and let's talk about the first season. Let's, let's talk about how this one turned out. Now, if you were unfamiliar with the story of that 2011 film, I'll recap it briefly for you. In Hannah, it follows this girl who is kind of genetically enhanced as a baby and was part of this program where they wanted to kind of make better human beings, as they do. Then she gets kidnapped from this facility and raised by her father in the woods to kind of train to kind of be like the animalistic assassin that she ends up becoming. And then that organization that kind of started that program, they're on the hunt for them, they end up finding them, and the father and daughter, they kind of have to split up in order to survive, and they go on their own separate stories before reuniting, and, you know, Hannah tries to learn more about her past and kind of learn more about who she is. Now, I barely remember the 2011 film. I remember seeing it. I actually don't even remember if I enjoyed it. I mean, it, I guess it was forgettable because I really don't remember a thing about it. But I was interested to see this story kind of put into an episodic format where we can get to know the characters a little bit more, have this story kind of flow more naturally and not have it be rushed, you know, within like a two-hour time span. I was excited to see that, and I was also excited to see some really fun, badass action sequences as well. Now, in the show, we also have a really good cast. We have uh, Esme Creed Miles, who plays Hannah. We have Joel Kinnaman, who plays her father. We have Muriel Enos, uh, who plays kind of the woman kind of trying to track Hannah and her father down. And all three are terrific in this show, especially, you know, Creed Miles, who is perfect as Hannah. You know, Saoirse Ronan definitely had that otherworldly look, but Creed Miles kind of really nails down that almost like soldier-like persona that Hannah has kind of adopted as she's been trained in the wild. And also you buy her as this kind of fish out of water when she enters society for the first time and, you know, starting to experience what it's like to kind of just be, you know, in a city or just in a, you know, in a place where there's more than one person. And Joel Kinnaman is perfect perfect as her father. I think he's terrific in the show. His accent work is actually pretty damn great, uh, and he's terrific in the acting sequences. He's really great with the dramatic scenes, especially, uh, he's especially great with Hannah. I oh, love their father-daughter dynamic. For me, that is the best part about this show. And Muriel Enos is actually terrific in the role of this woman who's trying to track down Hannah and her dad, and kind of has some secrets hidden up her sleeve, you know, that have to do with Hannah. And she takes a role that in other hands would probably be kind of bland and monotonous, and she kind of adds some new wrinkles to it, and she's, you know, kind of of more layered character, which I appreciated. So I was happy that she kind of really jumped into this role, did something cool with it, and actually made this character more than just watchable. Now, I wish I could tell you that this show kind of succeeds as, you know, an adaptation of that movie and that it totally works as a TV show but I can't. Now, before I get into Negative Town, some of the things I really enjoyed about the show, like I said, performances all around super strong, production values really great. I especially really like the action sequences. I think they're very well done, especially the hand-to-hand -hand combat. You could tell that these actors were really trained for these roles, that the sequences were filmed beautifully. You know, there's no shaky cam or anything like that. You get to see this choreography in all its, you know, gristly beauty. And every action sequence in the show is memorable in its own unique way. I just wish there were more of them because I think they're so well done and they could have really added some life to another otherwise kind of dull show. And also, like I said, the best part about the show is the father-daughter dynamic between Hannah and her father. I love that relationship. It's so well established from episode one all the way through the end of this, you know, season one. I think they're the rapport between Kinnaman and uh, Miles is terrific. I think they play so well off one another. You completely buy them as father and daughter, and it's such a warm, nurturing, protective relationship on both sides, and I just loved watching them together. I just wish that they shared more screen time, because for a good chunk of this first season, they're kind of you know, in their own respective stories, and they're not really sharing the screen much, which is a bummer. And honestly, the show suffers because of that, because their respective stories aren't very interesting, and they get dragged out way too long. And now we're taking a trip into Negative Town, where I think the biggest crime that this show commits is that it's just extremely dull. I mean, this is a story that could be very interesting, very engaging. I mean, a girl who is kind of genetically enhanced from birth, part of this program to make better human beings that's, you know, kind of on the run and trying to figure out who she is, almost like Jason Bourne style. I mean, this should be like this should be a pretty big home run. This is a story that could be super interesting, but somehow they make it so uninteresting and monotonous. I mean, the story doesn't really kick into high gear until the last couple episodes, but by the time you get to all the good stuff, you're not, you're just kind of checked out. At least I was. I was kind of checked out of the show. And this show, this first season's only eight episodes, but I feel like this story could have easily been told in maybe four or five. I mean, I never thought an eight episode season would feel so elongated and so stretched out, but here we are. I mean, we don't need three or four episodes of Hannah, you know, hooking up with teenage boys or, you know, making new friends or going to discos. We don't need that. Maybe an episode of that, but they make that like three or four episodes. And her father's story is really uninteresting because it's basically just him in the shadows trying to recruit people from his uh, army past to try to kind of, you know, help him concoct this plan to kind of take down this organization so Hannah can be safe and live a normal life. That goes on way too long. I mean, do we need three or four episodes of him just kind of like 
talking to old pals and having very uninteresting conversation. Do we need three or four episodes of that? No. But like I said, once Hannah and her dad reunite in those last few episodes, the show really kicks back into high gear and it's very interesting. It's entertaining. The action definitely ramps up a little bit and those action sequences in particular are terrific. But that gap from like episode three to six is just brutal. It's just, the show becomes a slog. It's very hard to get through. It just kind of goes on and on and you just keep wondering to yourself, why does this need to be eight episodes? So in the end, Hannah is a pretty big disappointment in my eyes. It's got some really strong performances, a great father-daughter dynamic, some, some entertaining action sequences. It's just that all the interesting bits of the show are so few and far between that it just becomes a slog for eight episodes. And that's something if they, if there is a season two, they definitely need to work on pacing. And if you're gonna, you know, make eight episodes, make it a worthwhile eight episodes and not three or four episodes of where kind of nothing is happening in terms of story or action. So in the end, I'm going to give the first season of Hannah, I'm going to give this show a C-. minus. I definitely expected a little bit more from this show. I definitely thought there was a lot of potential for this to be a really engaging and entertaining series, but I just feel like I was let down, unfortunately. And this first season definitely does leave room open for a second season, but it's also concluded enough where it could definitely be its own self-contained first season if it doesn't go beyond that. And frankly, I don't really feel like the show needs a second season. I don't think... You know, nothing here is tantalizing enough, at least in my eyes, for me to want to see a second season, but maybe that's just me. But let me know if you've watched the first season of Hannah, and if so, what did you think? Did you really love it? Did you Were you in the same kind of boat as I was? You know, let me know in the comment box below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see more reviews like this one, definitely subscribe to my channel. There's plenty of movie reviews, TV reviews, and other fun content coming your way, so definitely look forward to that. Apparently, everyone just wants to text me in the middle of this video. That's cool, right? And until I see you for another video, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you very, very soon.